So I think it's safe to say what I can last summer has not made it through a whole year, which is why lately I've been doing so much canning. Today, pickled beets. So for small batch refrigerated pickled beets, I have four medium sized beets. And I like to roast mine. You can absolutely do this on the stove top and boil them. I just think the flavor's a little better when you roast them. So I have washed and scrubbed my beets and now I'm going to cover them with some avocado oil and season them well with kosher salt. Then I'm going to roll them up in some aluminum foil into a 400 degree oven and I'm going to check them in 45 minutes. So it's been 45 minutes and I just want to make sure that my beets are soft and that my knife just easily falls through without any resistance and they do. So I'm going to turn my oven off and I'm going to leave these to steam while I get my pickling ingredients. Steamed. Now it's no secret beets can stain. So you want to put down some plastic wrap or have a cutting board that you don't care about. And if you don't want your hand stained, you can always opt for gloves. So when they're cool enough to handle, you just want to peel them. And next you just need a couple sterilized jars and decide what shape you want to cut your, your beets. I'm just kind of going for these little half moon pieces. And next for your brine, you want one cup apple cider vinegar, one cup water. You can do a quarter cup to a half a cup of sugar. You can do honey. You could do maple syrup. You could even do stevia in the raw. I've got a half a teaspoon whole allspice, a half a teaspoon whole cloves, and a teaspoon dry mustard seeds. And we're just going to bring this to a boil. Now this is optional, but I find any reason to use fresh ginger for its health benefits, I'll sneak it in there. So I'm just going to do a few little pieces of fresh ginger and just sneak them in my jar and just let all that goodness absorb into those beets. Did I mention the one teaspoon of salt? I think I forgot, but don't forget your salt. Now you just want to bring this to a boil. Make sure the sugar and the salt has dissolved. Now, just like always, you want to let this come to room temperature before you pop that lid on it and store it in the fridge. And four medium-sized beets gave me two nice jars of beets. Now, I do kind of pickle beets a lot because, well, they just don't last long around me. But these will last a good six weeks in your fridge. And don't forget to run something around them to release those air bubbles and that way you can get more brine in there. So watch this one and you can see when I run the this around there, how the liquid moves down and now I can add more brine in there. And there you have it, another easy refrigerator pickling recipe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.